Fantastic B spoilers, guys. Snape kills Dumbledore. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find It is the latest in this Harry Potter cinematic universe that now we are, you know, branching out of the Harry Potter movies. You know, we got to get that extra Harry Potter dough. And now we have made Fantastic Beasts is the first one to come out of this proposed, you know, I don't know, trilogy, uh, phytology. I don't know how many installments it's going to be. If it's going to be the same characters, it's going to be different. Are we going to get spinoffs from these spinoffs? The world may never know. And this one follows a almost like a scientist or like zoologist, a guy that likes to nurture, you know, beast and kind of like see what they're about, named Newt Scamander. And one day he decides to go to New York because what he loves to do, there's something that is in New York that he needs for and for his collection. But then when things don't go right, you know, it's up to him to gotta catch them all yes that was a pokemon reference and you know and then he meets these this group and they all team up and they try to find these fantastic beast fantastic beast is david yates's you know fifth movie in this harry potter franchise and you know he's he hasn't missed a touch it's like he hasn't left at all for years he still got it I loved, you know, Legend of Tarzan came out this earlier this year. It wasn't a really great movie, but his direction, his touch was there. And I love the, you know, the feeling he has with those Harry Potter movies with Tarzan. It's great that he's back in a source that he's very familiar with. He knows how to take care of. People trust him. And it shows, you know, his work in this. The, the, the world that got set up was great. I actually want to see more of this now. And it was just great seeing how like you know how this side of the you know in the united states works with the muggles and the wizardry or you know no match and the witches and wizards here it's really strange to see even though this is like 90 years before 70 years it's strange to see just how you know the wizarding world is seen over here as opposed to over there but then again you know it's a prequel but i just love seeing you know the throwbacks or like the references to harry potter the spells and I just miss hearing that and it was great seeing all of it again. And then, you know, the characters that we have, Newt Scamander, he's good. I knew Eddie Renmay was going to kill it, you know, for what he needed to be for like this, you know, guy that's, you know, trying to, you know, master into like the, how to, how these creatures work. He was, he's a guy that's a little bit too shy, but he, I understand he's kind of got that introvertness where he's more from, comfortable with the beast and with people. Someone you can really relate to. The three characters that were with him, they're all good too. You got this one, you know, person that wanted to bring him in at first, but then, you know, realizes that there's more to him. Then you got her sister that kind of reminds me a little bit of like Marilyn Monroe. It's just probably like a, a, you know, a little reference. Maybe that's where they got some inspiration. She was good too, you know, amazing. And she had some great comedic times with Dan Fogler. Dan Fogler, you know, I never really was a big fan of him, but he's pretty good in this. And he was a character. He's like a human. It's like, you know, someone that he can represent us. And his character was very enjoyable to watch. The story itself, the story itself was interesting. It was, you know, it had those Harry Potter light tones, those dark tones. It was a great, like, representation of how the Harry Potter was celebrated. The villain, you know, for how the Harry Potter movies were, the villains in this, they were kind of on borderline, like, I don't know. They were interesting, a little bit cliched, but they weren't the worst villains you can get. But they had at least some story, some motivation as to why things are going on. It really sets, you know, for future movies, that's the good thing about it. The thing is also, like, compared to, like, Social Stone, but then again, it was different times, I understand. It was good seeing a film when it just focused on one film itself, and then, you know, if it got great, they would make others. I miss movies like that. I understand this is how it is now. I don't hate it. I'm only a little bit annoyed by it. But still, like... Putting that aside, it sets the franchise good. It made a really good movie. So now I want I am curious to see more. I want to see more of Newt Scamander's past. I want to see if maybe we'll get future Hogwarts cameo appearances or something. And it and it sets off, you know, it sets up some interesting, you know, stories now for the future installment films. I felt like the third act was something I've kind of seen before. It 
but then you know there was those like the one fights that reminded me of harry potter so it's like you know the third act had its cons but it had its pros too it was an entertaining climax uh just you know i'll just put off a little bit but it still you know it kept, still kept that harry potter feeling so i'm gonna have to give fantastic beast and where to find them a b plus let me know guys if you've seen fantastic beast what do you think of it where would you rank this into the harry potter category if you had to throw it in there all this in the comments below and as always roll empire laugh smile repeat